Hello and welcome. I am Amy Vensel, your school president, and I am so glad that you have joined us this afternoon for Columbia's virtual open house event. Ideally, we would be welcoming you to campus and enjoying a time of fellowship and an opportunity to cultivate relationship. However, we want to be mindful of our current health concerns around our nation, and so uh, we are proceeding with caution and providing you this opportunity virtually. And so I'm welcoming you into my office from the comfort of your own home. Today I'm excited to share with you about the opportunity to see what God is doing at Columbia Christian, to be encouraged in Columbia providing a Christ-centered education, for you to for hear firsthand from our students about their experiences here at school and to share with you important updates, as well as invite you to continue in the partnership that we share in uh, Christ-centered education focused on excellence in faith, character, and academics. Make sure that you stick around until the very end where we will have some prize drawings for you and you won't want to miss it. Over these past two years, during this time marked by fear and uncertainty, Columbia has held firm to its mission, faith, character, and academics. This season has only affirmed who we are and God's faithfulness to our ministry. We maintain excellence in education. Kids are learning every day. We create expectations and hold our students accountable to those expectations. Discipline, work ethic, conscientiousness, conscientiousness, communication, and teamwork. These are all so important. We encourage effort in a positive and safe environment. Columbia understands that a safe environment promotes learning and growth. And we recognize the importance of effort and celebrating success. At this time... I am excited to introduce you to our school principal, Joel Davis. And Joel has been serving in administration at Columbia for many, many years. And it is my honor to serve next to him and for him to share with us today. Joel. Thank you for joining us for our virtual open house today. I'm Joel Davis and I serve as principal for our elementary, middle and high schools. I've been with Columbia Christian for the past 35 years in various capacities. My wife and I had three daughters graduate from the school, as well as five grandchildren who have come through. Columbia Christian began in 1947 in a church building near the Lloyd's Center and moved to our present location in 1953. Since that move, there has been continual growth and expansion of our physical property thanks to many dedicated men and women in our history. We have a very active board of trustees who guide the school and many contributors who provide financial support. But most important has been our growth academically. We became fully accredited kindergarten through 12th grade in 2000 and have maintained both our national and international status. We currently have 24 full-time credentialed teachers, and in 2012, we were able to purchase the entire campus from the previous college and have expanded the high school into those buildings. We have a highly capable faculty in the high school, elementary, and middle school. Many of them have been with us for several years, and we have been blessed to welcome new members to our faculty as well. In the high school, we offer college credit as well as advanced placement classes in addition to our core subjects and electives. In the elementary, they collaborate well to provide learning opportunities that extend beyond the classroom, such as learning fairs, passport day. The sixth grade participates in outdoor school and biz town program. The middle school has rotating elective exploration classes consisting of music, art, drama, and a cooking class. 
We aim to provide support and mentoring to our students along with a biblical worldview integrated into all subject areas and we provide chapel for all of our students. Our graduates, they are equipped for life beyond high school and they successfully attend a variety of colleges and universities across the nation. Our advancement office, admissions and retention office are very capable in their responsibilities and the office administrators throughout the campus are always willing to assist and guide. And so new families, you are encouraged to contact us, ask questions, view our website, all to become more familiar with our school. Our mission is to provide a Christ-centered education focused on faith, character, and academics with core values that help grow and mature students into strong faith followers and citizens. Thank you, Mr. Davis. Such encouraging thoughts and affirmations about Columbia. Thank you. Are you a parent of a middle or high school student and do you need some good news? I just want you to consider how we are preparing kids for life after graduation. How are kids um, prepared um, as they enter relationships as adults, um, as they consider their career and make decisions about committing to a church family and being involved in their community? Who is guiding them toward successful independence? At Columbia, we understand the significance of preparing students beyond high school. This includes teaching and training in practical life skills. We want to encourage and prepare students to become resilient, independent, and capable of navigating everyday life. At Columbia, our students are learning self-management skills. These skills encourage students to be responsible, have integrity, and take ownership of their learning. For example, project-based learning provides opportunity for collaboration and teamwork. Recently, our second graders partnered with our, their senior big buddies for a project that the seniors were completing. And the seniors were tasked to provide a hands-on experience and application of their learning um, with brain development, nature versus nurture, learning, memory, and child development. And so they created games and activities and these challenges for second graders. And of course, the second graders happily participated. They did an obstacle course. They played Simon Says. They shot balls into buckets, categorized vehicles. And the highlight was when the second graders were um, discovering how many jelly beans were in three different sized containers. Learning happened for sure, but also the nurturing of relationships across our campus. And so project-based learning supports life skills, practical life skills. At Columbia, students are learning cognitive skills. Specifically, our middle schools work daily on academic and emotional skills. Students are encouraged to embrace new challenges to develop persistence, grit, and to practice self-care. We focus on the journey and also we focus on the destination. We want to encourage others and we encourage our students to develop a love of the learning process. And at the middle school level, wanting them to discern and learn how to navigate healthy friendships. And our students are learning practical life skills with hands-on experiences, things like home maintenance and care, budgeting, meal planning, sewing, electrical circuits, job applications, taxes, home maintenance, and virtual citizenship. And these are just a few of the many hands-on experiences that Columbia is providing students. This is our commitment to the development of the whole child. As parents, you're making critical decisions about your child's education, and I care very much about that and wanting to help support you in the decisions you're making in education. I want to remind you about the significance of a Christ-centered education. John Piper, who was a pastor and now is an author and founder of Desiring God, 
describes Christian education as this. It is the instilling of habits of mind and heart that incline and enable students for the rest of their lives to observe and understand, evaluate, feel, and apply, and express reality in reliance upon God. That's a foundation of biblical truth, and that is Christ-centered education. I'm excited for you to get a glimpse of that yourself. Take a look. At Columbia, we understand the tremendous task of educating the heart and the mind, the work of character formation that equips students to face issues in the world today. At Columbia, we want students to comprehend that perseverance is developed through high expectations and accountability. We want them to comprehend the value and importance of a personal relationship with Jesus. We want them to develop a biblical worldview and to see the world through that lens. We want our students to understand the value of teamwork and to work well with people of diverse ethnicities, cultures, and backgrounds. We want our students to comprehend the responsibility of being a positive contributor 
to school, to community, to church. A Christ-centered education offers a hope that we can better the lives of our students through learning and education according to biblical principles. We see this hope in our students. Take a glimpse. My favorite thing about Columbia Christian is the teachers and how nice they are. I appreciate that here at Columbia we get to share our faith and express it with other people our age. And um, I know that at a lot of other schools you don't get to do that. What I love about Columbia is the students and the teachers and their friendly atmosphere. Uh, better than public school. Yeah. <laughs> I like how no one's ever bullied and like the classes that you have are like set to your level and anything you struggle with they can help you in a specific class. Yeah. I appreciate how everyone's just so nice here and it's compact, like everyone's a family here. Everyone's so happy to see each other and you know, it really just feels like home here. I enjoy singing the songs and getting to praise God. I think the close knit community is everyone really knows each other and it's, it takes to make friends or find a friend group for you. I'm a good teacher, like I have a lot of you know, connection with them and they're really sweet and nice too. My favorite thing about Columbia is that they believe in God and they trust in Him. That everybody is like a family. All the things we learn. The kids are much nicer than public school kids. And we, yeah, we learn together with the teachers. It's good to share with you some of the things that are happening at Columbia and that you can see those at home. As we look ahead to the fall and we anticipate growth and adding classes, to accommodate the high demand of families who are wanting a safe Christ-centered education for their child. Many of our classes this year are already at capacity and we have waiting lists in place. You, re you may remember that last year we froze tuition for the school year and we also increased our financial aid budget significantly. It was because we wanted to partner with families and journey with them through a very difficult time of COVID and the impact of COVID on some of our families. And now as we look ahead and consider the future, I wanna share a couple factors that determine decisions for the fall. We think about the increase in our daily operation costs and we know the current inflation rate is above 6%. We have a deep commitment to our amazing teachers and wanting to continue to support and provide for them. And of course, we want to maintain the quality of our programs and services to our families. And so with these things in mind, the Board of Trustees has approved an increase in tuition for next year. That specific information is going to be shared with you in just a few minutes. Our goal is to make Columbia a reality for as many families as possible, regardless of the family's economic status. Every child deserves the opportunity to be a part of the Columbia community. And so we work hard to make that a reality. We're now going to wrap up this event with some fun. It's time to share with you our prize drawings. Every adult who has participated in this live event can enter the drawing. It's free, no obligation to participate. We're going to be awarding eight different prizes. First, credit towards our Knights uh, gear t-shirts, mugs, and things like that with our Knights logo on them. And then of course, gift cards to our Knights Cafe. Students can purchase food and treats there. And then most importantly, we will be giving away free tuition dollars for next school year. There will be a slide coming with the website of where you need to go to enter that drawing. That page will be available for 30 minutes after the conclusion of this event, so you'll have some time to log on and be a part of that drawing. Before I sign off, I wanna quickly let everyone know what are the next steps. 
For our current families, you are our priority. We want to make sure to provide you first opportunity to register for the fall. And so you will be receiving an email from me. And in that email, I will provide you information on two specific steps that you take to secure your child's spot for the fall. We are happy to answer any questions that you may have in those two steps. If you are a new family, we're happy to have you join us. Whether you're just checking us out for the first time or you've heard about Columbia and maybe have stopped by to visit. The first step, if you haven't done it already, is to schedule a time to come in and meet with me. I love to provide families an opportunity to have an educational success consultation or an ESC. During that time, we visit and I learn about your family and I try to provide you support and encouragement and next steps for your child. And so if you've not already done that, please schedule a time to come see me. If you've already met with me and you are ready to move forward, then you will be receiving an email from our admissions director, Carrie Rood. And Mrs. Rood will, be, and Mrs. Rood will provide for you two steps in what you need to do to move ahead for enrollment for next year. And so be watching for that information from Mrs. Rood. You will see slides behind me on how to navigate, whether you are a new family or you are a returning family. And so don't worry, we are going to walk you through next steps. Again, I just want to thank you for joining us today for our open house event. We appreciate your involvement in the Columbia community, and we pray God's guidance and blessing over the provision for our school. Thank you so much for joining us. God bless you and your family.